Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and we've had several calls at the Extension Office about the safety of food and the status of the food supply. So I wanted to take a few minutes and discuss some of the common questions we've had and some good practices to keep you and your family safe. When some of the meats plants closed a few weeks ago due to workers contracting COVID-19, we received many questions about the food supply and the safety of food. According to the Food and Drug Administration and the United States Department of Agriculture, there there is no evidence that COVID-19 can be contracted through food or meat. There is also no evidence that COVID-19 can be transmitted through food or meat packaging. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness contracted via personal contact. However, it may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their mouth, nose, and possibly their eyes. But it is not thought to be the main way that this virus spreads at this time. And as far as the supply goes, the meat industry is devoted to maintaining the supply chain. Some plants had to close for a short period of time and many have slowed production to comply with social distancing, staggered shifts, and additional sanitizing. The industry began to prepare for interruptions in the supply chain once the coronavirus began to spread globally. But consumers should not panic buy or stockpile meats. Just maintain your normal, traditional buying patterns. Overall, meat sales have declined, which might be surprising, but due to restaurant closings and institutional closings, overall meat sales have declined, but retail sales have continued and probably will continue to increase. But the meats industry, the United States Department of Agriculture, and farmers are working hard to maintain your supply chain. Many of our local farmers have stepped up and increased sales of direct marketed meats and even shifted production to meet your demands. You can find local meat producers on KentuckyProud.com on the Kentucky Department of Agriculture's page, or recently the Kentucky Cattlemen's Association has created a link directly connecting consumers and beef producers, and it's called the Kentucky Local Beef Directory. You can go to their website and find it there, or you can find links to it on our Facebook page. But this is to help consumers link with producers and find who has direct marketed beef near you. Sometimes when you read the headlines or even go to the grocery store and shelves are limited, it might cause some alarm, but together we can manage this situation. To help protect yourself, grocery workers, and other shoppers, here's a few tips. First, create a shopping list in advance or utilize grocery pickup or delivery services. Only buy one to two weeks of groceries at a time. Buying more than that or more than you need can create unnecessary demand and temporary shortages. Number two, wear a face covering while you are in the store. Number three, carry your own sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizers or use the ones provided in the grocery store to wipe down your cart. Provide, practice good social distancing while shopping and keep your hands away from your face. Wash your hands with warm water and soap for 20 seconds when you return home and again after you put away your groceries. Remember, there is no evidence of food packaging being associated with the transmission of COVID-19. However, if you wish, you can wipe down your product package and allow it to dry as an extra added precaution. And then follow your normal food safety practices. Before eating your fruits and vegetables, make sure to rinse them under running tap water, including those with skins or rinds that are not eaten like cantaloupes and watermelons. Make sure with canned goods, remember to clean the lids before opening and do not wash meat in your sink. And you wanna make sure to unpack your groceries, refrigerate or freeze meats, make sure to get your perishables, poultry, eggs, berries, lettuces, and milk in a refrigerator within two hours of purchasing. Or if it's 90 degrees or higher outside, you wanna make sure from the time you purchase, you wanna get those into the refrigerator within one hour. You also wanna make sure that you regularly clean and sanitize your kitchen, your countertops, your sink areas. And then also you wanna cook your foods to the proper temperature and make sure to refrigerate leftovers soon after. If you have any questions, there's a lot of information that we talked about today, but we have all these resources available at the Extension Office. Anything from making shopping lists, meal planning, how long to store food, what temperature to cook food, and even reheating leftovers. We have all that information and resource here at the Extension Office, so just give us a call if you have any questions. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show, and we hope you have a great day.